Well, when the Vegas Golden Knights rolled the dice at last year's trading deadline and loaded up their roster, they certainly didn't think that they would crap out in the first round, but that's exactly what happened. So today we're going to take a look at what Vegas could do with their number 19 pick in this year's NHL draft and what they've got to do to get this team back in a Stanley Cup run. Hey everybody, welcome into Clearing the Benches, your one-stop shop for daily fresh hockey content. If you go ahead and hit your subscribe button right now, Every single day, we'll bring you in a new hockey video to enjoy. Well, we all watched the story unfold last year, and it was like a movie we had already seen. Everybody said, oh, watch this. Mark Stone's going to come off of LTIR, and he's going to be miraculously recovered. And then exactly that happened. He came back, and you know what? He didn't play as well as I think uh, Vegas obviously was hoping he would. Uh, but the fact that he came back kind of played into all of the conspiracy theorists' hands. It made for a fun story, that's for sure. And then at the trading deadline, they went for it. I mean, the deadline was pretty much over when they announced that Tomas Hurdle trade. So that just shocked the hockey world right there. So today we're going to take a look at what Vegas could do with the number 19 pick. Take a look at their organization and what they've got on their roster. And it is a lot of highly paid players. All right, let's look at it. Their GM is Kelly McCrimmon. He is 63 years old. On May 2nd of 2019, he was promoted from the assistant general manager to the general manager after George McPhee was promoted to president of hockey operations. Uh, their coach is Bruce Cassidy. He's got a head coaching record of 343, 177, and 9. He won the cup in 2023 behind the Vegas bench. When we look at the number 19 overall picks in NHL history, the number one guy, and we've heard this last name a lot lately, Keith Kachuk, 1,065 points. Another guy, Ryan Getzlov, 1,019 career points. Marty Straka, 717 points. Uh, you can get some big-time scores this late in the round, that is for sure. Craig Ramsey, Chris Kreider, Greg Malone, Jeff Bukaboom. You want to see a guy who could throw the body. Nick Bugstad and Lori Korpakowski. Uh, I believe the Rangers drafted him back in the day. When we look at the recent number 19s that were taken in the NHL, in 2019, the Sens took Lassie Thompson. New York Rangers in 2020 took Braden Schneider. 2021, Fedor Svechkov went to Nashville. 2022, Liam Ogren went to Minnesota. And last year, the Chicago Blackhawks scooped up Oliver Moore to go along with Connor Bedard in their future. When we look at Vegas' recent number ones, uh, not so uh, successful in this category, at least so far. 2019, Peyton Krebs, they moved on from him in the Jack Eichel trade. 2020, Brendan Brisson, uh, you know, his dad is the big time legendary agent. And I guess when Brendan Brisson was younger, Sidney Crosby was his babysitter. Uh, 2021, Zach Dean. 2022, Vegas did not have a first-round draft pick. And then last year, they took a center out of Sweden, David Edstrom. When we look at their roster, holy cow, these guys are all getting paid very handsomely. Jack Eichel, two years, $10 million. Mark Stone, three years, $9.5 million. Tomas Hurdle, $6.7 million all the way through 2029-2030. William Carlson has three more years at $5.9 million. Ivan Barbashev, $5 million for four more years. Um, Nick Roy, $3 million for three more years. Brett Howden, a million nine he's making through next year. Keegan Colasar, $1.4 million for next year. And then... Again, we got Brendan Brisson, one year left at 925. Paul Cotter, 775. And Jonas Ronberg has one year left at $766,000.
Will we look at their defense again? Break out the paychecks. Alex Petrangelo, $8.8 million for three more years. Noah Hannafin, $7.5 million through 2029-30. Good thing they're all playing in Vegas where they just print money up. Shea Theodore, $5.2 million for one more year. Braden McNabb, $2.8 million for another year. Zach Whitecloud, $2.75 million for four more years. I like White Cloud's game. I think he's going to be on that team uh, for his whole contract. Ben Hutton, two more years at 975. And then finally, Alec Martinez is a 36 year old unrestricted free agent. When we look at their goaltending, they've got Aiden Hill for one more year at $4.9 million. And then I was shocked to see that Logan Thompson only makes 766 a year. And then on long-term IR, Robin Lehner is there right now. He's got one more year left at $5 million. So they have got just a hefty, hefty salary on their roster. Now, when we look at what they could do at the draft, uh, I honestly don't think that they're going to try to move up or down too much. I think this roster is going to be pretty much frozen uh, I don't really think they're going to do a whole lot in free agency, if anything at all. But when we look at their draft options, first thing I think they're going to do is stand pat and just pick the best, I would say, defenseman at this point. And, you know, looking at their roster, I think that's where the turnover is going to come first. I think they've got the forwards for a little bit longer. So I would look at a guy like Gil Spencer, six foot four out of Ramuski. Charlie Alec, WHL, six foot three defenseman. Awesome size on these kids. And then there's a guy I really like, Leo Wallenius, a defenseman out of Sweden. And then, of course, the name we hear a lot, Adam Juracek. Now, if they wanted to look at forwards, I think guys like Maxim Massé from Chikatimi. Uh, you know, Maxim Massé was, I believe he had gotten granted exceptional status a couple of years ago, and he's still very, very young, but I think his game needs to grow just a little bit more. But, you know, potential and skill, it's all there. And then maybe they could look at another kid, uh, uh, left wing out of Moscow Dynamo, Igor Chernashov. And then the other options are with the pick, you know, they could try to trade the pick and maybe a player to an up-and-coming team. And they say, hey, we want a guy who's got some pedigree. He's been on a team that won a Stanley Cup. And maybe they want to try to trade the pick and a player to create some cap space. They are up against it cap space-wise. Uh, Ivan Barbashev, again, four more years at $5 million. He would be a good piece on a lot of teams. So if you could get a team to bite on that, that would be a good move, in my opinion, for Vegas. I love his game, but at some point, you've got to see these salaries are not going to work out. Uh, and then there's another guy, Nick Roy, making $3 million for the next three years. Maybe there's a team that would want to take that contract on. Uh, you know, you could use the pick and possibly... Uh, a prospect, if you wanted to try to trade for a goaltender, you know, I know that there's some names available this offseason. It's going to be very interesting to watch the goaltending carousel uh, this offseason. But again, when I look at, you know, what they've got in Hill and uh, Leonard, we don't know if he's coming back. And then Logan Thompson, uh, you know, Logan Thompson may say, hey, pay me. I want to get paid for big bucks. Uh, I was part of that Stanley Cup rotation. I want mine. Uh, so that's what we think Vegas is looking at when they get to the number 19 pick. I honestly don't think there's going to be a whole lot of activity with this pick unless some other team behind them covets a player and they want to try to move up. And then again, maybe Vegas can try and, you know, squeak off some of that cap uh, money that they've got tied up. They've got so much of this money tied up. Again, a lot of these guys do 20, 29, 30. So I don't think there's going to be a whole lot of movement on this roster, especially this offseason. Let me know what you think Vegas is going to do, both in the offseason and at the draft with the number 19 pick. If you could, please uh, put it down in the comment section. If you want, you can hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe. We're going to be here every single day putting out hockey videos. And as we always do here at Clearing the Benches, let them know you're out there.